Hey guys, I'm Parker and I get to share with you for day 18 of this 21 day journey of generosity. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't had a chance to watch the other videos, just head over to our Facebook page and check them out. And if you have a cool story of something God has done through this journey, we'd love to hear it. Just send an email to grace at grace-alone.org. Today we're going to talk a little bit about humility. When we talk about generosity, we talk a whole lot about giving and that's a great thing because God wants us to give. But sometimes it's our turn to be on the receiving end of someone else's generosity and that can actually be even harder there's this beautiful story about Jesus in Matthew 26. He's in this guy's Simon's house. Uh, Simon used to be a leper, and he was probably one of the lepers Jesus healed. So there they are, Jesus, Simon, and the disciples. And this woman comes in with a really expensive bottle of perfume, and she anoints Jesus with it. Based on the way the people in the room responded, we think that this bottle of perfume was worth what would be around today, like twenty or $30,000, which is a seriously extravagant gift. Uh, most of the time in his life, Jesus was the giver. He did miracles to feed the crowds. He healed the sick and raised the dead. He traveled and taught crowds all around Israel. He gave until he was absolutely exhausted and didn't even have a place to sleep. But this time, it was his turn to receive. Jesus, the giver who had washed the dirty, disgusting feet of the disciples, sat and let this woman pour out love and generosity on him. And when the people around complained that it was too much, that there was a more practical use for this extravagant gift, he not only defended the woman, he also defended the gift. There's a certain respectability to being a giver, isn't there? We feel dignified. We all want to have something to offer the world and other people, and there's nothing wrong with that. God put that in us. But we need to be able to receive also, first from God and also from others when it's appropriate. For me, something in my life that I had a really hard time with was financial help for my church a few years back. Uh, everyone was going up to camp during a week in the summer, and this came right in the midst of a really tough time financially for me and my family. On top of that, it was also right before I started driving and was able to get a job of my own so I could pay for my own stuff, so there was absolutely no money coming in any direction. Uh, in the midst of this, our church heard about our struggle and actually offered to grant my sister and I camp scholarships so that we would be able to go. As grateful as I am for their generosity and as much of a relief as that was at the time, I was still super hesitant about taking their help because of the humility that came with accepting that I couldn't just take care of it myself. It's embarrassing to be in a place where you have to lean on people and God to provide financially, but over and over in the New Testament it talks about how if we humble ourselves before the Lord, He will lift us up. Today's challenge is an internal one because humility starts in our hearts. I want to challenge us to pray and to commit to God that you, if you're willing to humble yourself and receive, both from Him and from others. If you've never taken the opportunity to receive God's free gift of salvation, it all starts there. You can just pray a simple prayer, something like this. God, I admit that I'm a sinner, but I believe that Jesus died for me, and right now I receive His free gift of salvation. Maybe you've already done that, but you still struggle with receiving. You can pray, uh, pray a prayer of humility, too. Ask God to help you humble yourself enough to admit that you have needs just like everyone else. And then, when God gives you the chance to humble yourself and receive, and you may just do it sooner than you think, receive graciously. God, uh, thank you for this time. Thank you that you're the ultimate uh, goal and perfecter of humility and giving, God. We just look to you. Pray that you would be with us this week as we try to uh, apply this to our own lives. God, just uh, lead us where you want us to go. In your name we pray. Amen.